यू हैव लर्न दैट डिविजन मीन्स मेकिंग इक्वल पार्ट ऑफ अ गिवन नंबर राइट You also know that division is repeated subtraction, and when we divide a number by another number, what do we get exactly? Let us take a very simple example. Say twenty-two divided by five. That simply means I have twenty-two chocolates, and I want to divide them equally among five friends. Then, how many chocolates each one will get? and how many chocolates will remain let's do it now 22 chocolates means i have two bags each bag with 10 chocolates and two chocolates lose how would i divide these two bags and two chocolates among five friends equally not possible right i will not open the bags and try to distribute this way each one of five friends will get nothing means zero chocolates so we write zero in as the first digit in the quotient now what next yes i will have to loosen these two bags of chocolates so that now i have 10 plus 10 plus 2 equal to 22 chocolates now i can start distributing these 22 chocolates among five friends let's start let's give one chocolate to each one so after first round of distribution out of total 22 chocolates i distributed five chocolates which means five got subtracted from 22 and i am left with 22 minus 5 equal to 17 chocolates now again i give one chocolate to each one so after second round of distribution out of total 17 chocolates i distributed 5 chocolates which means 5 got subtracted from 17 and i am left with 17 minus 5 equal to 12 chocolates can you see there is repeated subtraction of 5 from the total number of chocolates so now i follow the same process and after third round i am left with 12 minus 5 equal to 7 chocolates and after fourth round i am left with 7 minus 5 equal to 2 chocolates now is it possible to divide remaining 2 chocolates equally among five friends certainly not and there ends my division process as you can see each of my friends got four chocolates and two chocolates are now remaining that means while dividing 22 chocolates among five friends equally there was repeated subtraction of five chocolates in each round of distribution i required four such rounds in which i distributed five multiplied by 4 equal to 20 chocolates and two chocolates are remaining easy to understand right now let's see how to do it on paper as we are distributing five chocolates in each round and required four such rounds to distribute 20 chocolates with two remaining that means we are saying table of 5 such that we get 5 4 20 which is less than 22 and we write 4 as the quotient which is nothing but number of chocolates each friend has got and then we subtract 5 multiplied by 4 equal to 20 from 22 to get 2 as the remainder so now it is clear that instead of subtracting 5 repeatedly four times it's easier to subtract 5 multiplied by 4 equal to 20 from 22 so as to get quotient as 4 and remainder as 2 that means division is repeated subtraction was that a light bulb moment for you great now we can use the same procedure to divide any dividend by any divisor isn't it let's try out a division 
4275 divided by 12. That means I have 4 bags each with 1000 chocolates, 2 bags each with 100 chocolates, 7 bags each with 10 chocolates and 5 loose chocolates. You know that this is called as expanded form of 4275, right? Now, can I divide 4 bags each with 1000 chocolates equally among 12 friends without loosening the bags? No. Why? Because number of bags, that is 4, is less than the number of friends among whom bags are to be distributed. That means, if I try to divide this way, each friend will get nothing means zero chocolates. So, we write zero in as the first digit in the quotient. Now, what next? So, let's loosen these four bags so that we get four multiplied by thousand is equal to four thousand chocolates and make bags of hundred chocolates each. We will get 40 such bags. Now, we have 40 plus 2 equal to 42 bags each of 100 chocolates. As now, we have 42 bags which are greater than the number of friends that is 12, we can distribute 42 bags among 12. Let's give one bag each of 100 chocolates to each one of them. So, after first round of distribution, out of total 42 bags each of 100 chocolates, I distributed 12 bags. And after 3 such rounds, I have distributed 12 multiplied by 3 equal to 36 bags each of 100 chocolates. And I am remained with 42 minus 36 equal to 6 bags each of 100 chocolates. That means, I said table of 12 such that I get a number which is equal to or just less than 42. Here, in our case, it is 12 threes are 36 which is less than 42. As I cannot take 12 fours are 48 because it will be more than 42. So, I write 3 as the second digit of the quotient and subtract 12 multiplied by 3 equal to 36 from 42 to get the remainder as 6. Okay? Till now, each friend has got 0 bags of 1000 chocolates and 3 bags of 100 chocolates. Now, can I divide 6 bags each with 100 chocolates equally among 12 friends? without loosening the bags? No. Why? Because number of bags, that is 6, is less than the number of friends among whom bags are to be distributed, that is 12. So, let's loosen these 6 bags so that we get 6 multiplied by 100 is equal to 600 chocolates of which we make bags of 10 chocolates each and we will get 60 such bags. Now, we have 60 plus 7 equal to 67 bags each of 10 chocolates. As now, we have 67 bags which are greater than the number of friends that is 12, we can distribute 67 bags among 12. Let's give one bag each of 10 chocolates to each one. So, after First round of distribution, out of total 67 bags of chocolates, I distributed 12 bags each of 10 chocolates. And after 5 such rounds, I have distributed 12 multiplied by 5 equal to 60 bags of chocolates and remained with 67 minus 60 equal to 7 bags each of 10 chocolates. That means, I said table of 12 such that I get a number which is equal to or just less than 67. 
here in our case it is 12 fives are 60 which is less than 67 as I cannot take 12 six the 72 because it will be more than 67 so I write 5 as the third digit of the quotient and subtract 12 multiplied by 5 equal to 60 from 67 to get the remainder as 7 okay till now each friend has got zero bags each of thousand chocolates and three bags each of hundred chocolates and five bags each of ten chocolates now can i divide seven bags each of ten chocolates equally among twelve friends without loosening the bags no why because the number of bags that is seven is less than the number of friends among whom bags are to be distributed that is 12 so let's loosen these seven bags so that we get 7 multiplied by 10 equal to 70 chocolates now we have 70 plus 5 equal to 75 chocolates as now we have 75 chocolates which are greater than the number of friends that is 12 we can distribute 75 chocolates among 12 friends consider table of 12 12 6 the 72 12 7 the 84 and 72 is less than 75 which is less than 84 hence i can distribute 6 chocolates each to 12 friends and i am remained with 75 minus 72 equal to 3 chocolates till now each friend has got 0 bags each of 1000 chocolates 3 bags each of 100 chocolates and 5 bags each of 10 chocolates and 6 loose chocolates and 3 chocolates are remaining that means each friend has got 0 multiplied by 1000 plus 3 multiplied by 100 plus 5 multiplied by 10 plus 6 which is equal to 356 chocolates and 3 chocolates are remaining which cannot be further divided equally. So when we divided 4275 chocolates among 12 friends equally we got the quotient as 356 and remainder as 3. Now ready for a simple sum? Let's take same example 4275 divided by 12. As the divider 12 is a two digit number, select two digits that is 42 from the dividend 4275 now start the usual division process let's take another example 4275 divided by 76 in such case divisor is 76 which is two digit number but if we take first two digits that is 42 from the dividend 4275 then 42 is less than 76 so now a simple hack we have to consider three digits that is 4 to 7 from the dividend then take tens place digit of divisor in this case it is 7 and first two digits of dividend in this case it is 42 now say the table of 7 so as to get a number which is less than or equal to 42 it is 7 6 the 42 so try 76 multiplied by 6 is how much it is 456 which is greater than 427 so we cannot take 6 as the quotient let's try for 76 multiplied by 5 it is 380 which is less than 427 so the quotient can be definitely 5 and then go ahead with the same process Follow the process and let us know 
what was your answer i have another interesting example of division to share with you say 9408 divided by 93 let's do it we take two digits 94 from the dividend so 93 ones are 93 so quotient is 1 and remainder is 1 as we take the next digit 0 now we need to divide 10 by 93 very important step now be alert can you see that quotient will be 0 as 10 is less than 93 so now 93 multiplied by 0 equal to 0 so we subtract 0 from 10 to get 10 now again after next digit 8 it becomes 108 now we divide 108 by 93 to get quotient as 1 and when we subtract 93 from 108 we get the final remainder as 15 let's do a cross check to find out whether we did it correctly or not you know that dividend equal to divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder so let's check rhs rhs is equal to 93 multiplied by 101 plus 15 equal to 9408 and it is equal to lhs that is 9408 that means our calculations are correct what did we learn today we learned division means repeated subtraction division is the process of dividing given number of objects into given number of groups equally how to divide a two digit number by a single digit number and then by using the same process ultimately how to divide a four digit number by a two digit number we can use the same procedure to divide a number with any number of digits by another number with less number of digits we also learned how to give a cross check for our answer by using the formula dividend equal to divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder exercise solve this 4397 divided by 42 girish needed 36 cartons to pack 1116 books there are an equal number of books in every carton. How many books did he pack into each carton? 